Hello, welcome back to another video. Today I am getting lip filler for the first time and I am so nervous. I have spent the past two hours watching lip filler videos on YouTube, which I'm not sure was a good idea or a bad idea because now I'm just really nervous about the pain that I'm in for. Half of the videos I watched, people said they could barely feel it. And then the other half, people were saying how incredibly painful it was. I've gotten Botox um, on my forehead right here and around my eyes. And then I did try a lip flip as well. And that was without any numbing and they do, she did four injections. And I remember those injections being pretty freaking painful. So I'm assuming that's how it's gonna be, but like, way more than four times. I remember when I was getting that done after she finished the four, I was like, there's no way I could ever get lip filler. Like this was so painful. And then she said, you know, we do put like a numbing cream on. So I was like, okay, you know, that might help. So again, back to the videos, half the people said the numbing cream really worked. And then the other half said that they could still feel that pinch. And I know that pinch that they're talking about and that shit hurts, like it really does. So I'm nervous. I think I'm about to call the uh, med spa and just ask a couple questions and see if they provide a dental block. If you do a dental block, then you're completely numbed and you don't feel anything but pressure. Um, but if that's like a huge additional cost, then I'm not gonna do that. So let's actually call them really quickly. You guys look at to hear my phone call voice. Y'all, I'm so nervous. <laughs> I'm so nervous. Ugh. Hi, um, I have a appointment for lip filler this afternoon, um, but I actually just had a couple questions because I'm getting a little bit nervous about the pain. Um, <laughs> yeah, so I was going to see, do you guys do or provide a dental block? Yes, we do. Okay, and then is that an additional cost? That I don't know. I want to say it isn't. But um, do you mind if I put you on a really quick hold to ask? Yeah, no problem. Okay. If it's not an additional cost, I'm doing it. No question. Hello? Yes. Hi, so we don't charge for dental blocks. That is great news, okay. Thank you so much. Yeah, if you, if you think that the pain is gonna be bad, I would just recommend doing one. Okay. And I felt like the numbing was enough. The only like thing that you'll feel is just the needle moving around. So if that freaks you out, I would just do the next block. Okay, no, I'm good with needles and I've tried like the lip flip, but even when I did a lip flip, that was so painful to me. Um, yeah, I would, I would do the dental block. <laughs> okay, all right, <laughs> awesome. Okay, that makes me feel a lot better. Thank you so much. Yeah, of course, and we, give, we give ice after and everything, and then we do give um, um, Arnica. Arnica. The bruising and the swelling, and it, yeah, you should be okay. Okay, because I was going to go buy some of that, but you guys provide mm -hmm. that? We provide it. Okay, mm -hmm. awesome. Great. Thank you so much. Yeah. Of course. We'll see you in a little bit. Okay, bye. Bye. Okay. Woo! Dental blocking for sure. Oh, that is such a relief. Such a relief because the videos I did watch where people got dental blocks, um, which is just lidocaine, and they put it here, here, like inside your mouth, here, 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 here. Um, they said they couldn't feel anything, and they do a topical on top. So I think with all of that, I should be good, and I'm so glad they don't even charge extra for that. So, thank the Lord. My hope for today is to do um, just half a syringe, because, well, here are my lips now. I have no makeup on. I don't have super, super non-existent lips, but they don't have any volume. Like they don't come out at all. Yeah, there's just no like volume to them. They're like very flat. So I'm hoping to, from the videos I've watched and like the research I've done, I'm hoping to, you know, plump up my top lip and the center a little bit of my bottom lip. And I want the look where it's like pretty defined line. So hopefully she can do that. I'm gonna film everything and bring you guys along for the entire appointment. I feel so much better now that I know I can get everything numbed up. And I was just about to leave to go get the Arnica gel, but since they already provide that, I don't need to do that. So, sigh of relief. Anyway, um, I'm excited. 
way less nervous now and yeah i'm hoping by the end of this video these lips will be looking nice and plump and natural and not like overly filled and i think with a half a syringe that is totally achievable so welcome to the video i hope you guys are excited to watch i'm excited to get lip filler i've been wanting lip filler for years i'm 30 years old now um i think even before this was like a major trend i always loved the look of bigger lips but had no um you know knowledge of different things that you could do so i would see a fuller lip and just think that someone had naturally gorgeous lips and then find out later they had lip filler so once i realized how they got it i'm like i want that too so i'm excited for today um if there are any questions in this video that you need answered or anything i missed please comment it below and i will get back to you so welcome to the lip filler vlog so excited okay i'm ready for my appointment um i have this cute little just casual slip dress um, from Forever 21 that I got years ago. You can make it casual or dress it up, but it's very comfortable. And then I just have some little sandals from Target and all my regular gold jewelry, except I switched up the earrings and did these really cool snake ones. This is so annoying. I haven't had a pimple in months, not one that looks like this. And the day that I'm gonna be filming this area of my face the most of course i have a huge pimple before i started getting ready i did like a little cold brew um tea of a calming tea and a fennel tea fennel tea is really good for um bloating i figured that wouldn't hurt and then the calming tea is obviously for nerves and i'm going to also have a an alpen organics cbd gummy so I can be very chill um, and not be as nervous. I am so excited, also nervous, but mostly excited from looking at before and after pictures all day and watching videos all day. I can't believe that I'm actually getting lip filler. I've been wanting it for so long and looking at pictures for so long. Actually, when I was looking at videos today, there was a lip filler video that I watched when it was posted back in 2020 and was thinking about it then and I'm just so excited that I'm finally doing it. Okay, she just numbed my mouth. I can't feel anything. This 
is right after. So pretty, I just can't move. <laughs> Okay, I just got done. My entire face is numb, so I, can, I can't even talk. But that was the best decision. I, I know I sound crazy right now, I'm sorry. That was the best decision because I couldn't feel a thing. Like I wouldn't even know that she was injecting if I wasn't like holding up my camera and filming it. That was the best decision ever. So this is where we're at right now. I think it is so, so pretty and so subtle. Yeah, so when I get my feeling back, I will pick up my camera. Okay, I'm back home. I know I said I would wait until the dental block wore off, but it's so funny. Like, look at this when I try and smile. Or do like a kissy face. <laughs> okay, I finally have feeling back in my face and I can talk. I love them so much. I wish they were gonna stay like this, but they're swollen. Um, so they will definitely go down. And I think I will end up, I think I've already said it, but I'll most likely end up going back for another half because I would love for them to, once they're completely healed, always look like this, like just really full. But I think half a syringe was a great place to start since I've never done it before and I didn't want to overdo it. And I still want like a natural pouty look. I don't want huge lips. Um, so half a syringe I think is gonna be perfect. So I will update you guys tomorrow. And then, um, you know, over the next few days you can see what they look like after the swelling goes down. Oh my God. That's <laughs> so crazy. Oh my God. All right, good morning guys. Obviously my lips are enormous, very swollen. They don't really uh, hurt. Yesterday <clears throat> evening they started like hurting a little bit, like just being really tender, but they don't hurt at all today. They're just very swollen and I'm bruising in a couple of spots. Um, but I've just been like icing it. I woke up this morning and iced it. I iced it a lot yesterday. And yeah, this is where we're at. So I'm glad I canceled my Pilates class today. You're not supposed to like do a workout, I think, for like 24 hours afterward. It says like a strenuous workout, but you know, just in case I went ahead and canceled that. And obviously I'm not gonna walk into my Pilates class with my face looking like this. That would be so <laughs> embarrassing. And this is with only half a syringe. I don't know if doing a full syringe would have changed the amount of swelling or how big my lips look right now, but I don't think I'd want to find out. Yeah, not painful at all, just swollen. So I'm just going to keep icing it all day and just hang out around the house. And I will update you guys if anything changes. All right, y'all, it's been nearly 24 hours since my lip filler appointment. This is where we're at. The swelling has gone down significantly since this morning. But as you can see, I have like bruising and whatnot. They don't hurt at all anymore. I've been icing them on and off all day. And yeah, they feel really good. I feel like if I could um, put liner and like lipstick on where it would like cover the bruising and stuff, the lips would look perfect. I know they're gonna go down a little bit more than this, but ultimately this size right here is like what I want to what I want to get to. So I actually already made an appointment to go back for another half um, next month after everything is all healed. I don't know if I'm gonna keep the appointment. We'll have to see if I like the result from just the half, but if I want a little more, I'm gonna go back for more. So looking good so far. Yeah, I'm like really loving them. Good morning, guys. Today is day two after getting half a syringe of lip filler. This is where we're at right now. The swelling has gone down a ton, but I feel like they're gonna go down a little bit more. I still have like some bruising, but I do love the way they look right now. Like the size is pretty perfect. And probably like my end goal. I wouldn't even mind being like a little bit bigger, but this to me is like, exactly what I had in mind. Um, so we'll see how much of this 
I will lose over the next couple of days, but really just day one was the only time that it was a little swollen and sensitive and kind of painful. And ever since then, it's been completely fine and comfortable and I've just been icing it a ton. Really easy. I thought I'd be like super swollen and way more bruised for a lot longer, but I'm going to a Pilates class today and I won't mind like walking in like this. So yeah, they look good. I will update you guys later on in the day because I just woke up, so they're gonna be a little bit more swollen. Um, so if they go down at all later in the day, then I'll pick up my camera and update you. Okay, I just got ready. I'm about to film some content today. These are the lips right now. I love them so much. I just really don't want them to go down anymore. Like I think this is the perfect size, but you can, from what I've looked up, what I've been told, you can put on like makeup and lipstick to, you want to wait like two to four days but what i looked up was like if you have to go to work or an event or something and you really need to cover up you can like just be gentle so today is day two i'm gonna go ahead and put some lip liner and lipstick on normally i would kind of overline my lips to look the way they do now but i don't think i need to do that so Pretty much like all the bruising is gone. It's only like at the top where you can see it's a little bit darker, like where she put the needle in. But besides that, like they don't hurt at all. I will say this, you can feel the filler in your lips. Like I can feel it right here. And it's not really like a weird or uncomfortable feeling. It just feels like my bottom lip feels tighter and right here where she, cause my uh, lips are naturally pretty uneven. So she probably had to put more on one side than the other to like even out the cupid's bow area. So right here, like, yeah, I can just feel like a little bit of a hardness there. You can feel the filler in your lips. Lip liner is way easier cause you're not trying to like get the overlining perfect. I'm so excited, you guys. I just feel great. Like, I feel like they look so good on my face. I'm like very, very, very happy with my decision. Okay, I'm using um, a, the Merit Beauty. This is the Pink Beat Tinted Lip Oil. This is so good and so pretty. They look so pretty. All right, if anything changes today, I will update you. Otherwise, I will see you guys in the morning for day three. Okay, I just parked at Pilates, but I wanted to do a quick and last update for the lip filler because I feel like for the most part, they're healed and um, not super swollen. When I wake up first thing in the morning, they're a little bit more full. Um, but all of, you know, I just feel like our faces in general are a little bit more swollen when we first wake up. So this is day three. I still have like some signs of like where she injected me, um, on the top lip, but yeah, they look really, really good. I feel like if I didn't tell anyone that I got lip filler, no one would actually notice that much. So it's not a huge change but they do look more full and plump. And last night before I went to bed, they, they didn't look this uh, full, but they still looked good. They just have more of like a hydrated kind of look. So nothing drastic, which is exactly what I wanted. And I love them so much. There's no pain at all anymore. And yeah, I love them. They look really good. And yeah, not drastic whatsoever, which is exactly, like I said, what I was looking for. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I'm sure in my next vlog, you know, more days will go by and I'll make sure to, you know, focus on the lips and do an update. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss that. But 
Um, that's all for this video. If there's anything I missed or you have any questions, please comment it below and I will get back to you. Okay, I wanted to add one last update. Um, I got my lips done on the 20th and today it's the 24th. They've gone down a little bit more since the previous clip. This is where we're at. So like I said before, if I didn't tell anyone I got lip filler, you really wouldn't be able to tell, just I can tell. Um, but they are more plump and hydrated. And I love them, but definitely will be adding another half syringe. So hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one.